Okay, we're going to go through just a quick example of how to use the program. What I've done is I've created a empty folder with just the migration utility in it. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to go into OpenSense and we're going to talk about a couple things here. Now, in my configuration here of OpenSense, I've got under the old ISC setup, I have three networks. This is my wired LAN. You can see I've got reservations there. This is a DMZ that I use for various things. A couple of reservations there. And then this is my wireless LAN. And I got some reservations there. And then over in Kia, you can see that I've got the subnets defined. And what's most important about this part is that this line here is accurate because it uses it to find the subnet that your old mappings belong to. And then it creates the proper entry for Kia. But you can see we've got no reservations under Kia. So now what I want to do is we want to export our backup. So we go to System, Configuration, Backup, and we want to download configuration. And we're going to put it into this folder and we're going to call it config.xml. And then you can see that when we go back here, there it is. Now, the only thing we have to do is just run migrate. You can see that it creates a, it says that it creates the new file and it gives you instructions on how to import it. But here's our new config. So we go back into OpenSense go into our backups, we uncheck this reboot after a successful restore, choose our file of new config, open it, and then a restore configuration. Okay, now we go into services, Kia DHCP, under Kia DHCP v4, and we go into reservations, we can see our reservations here. And if you look at the subnets, you can see that it applied the different subnets to the right mappings. And that's basically it. Now I do want to show you where if we had a situation where we had a problem and I need to rename this file. First let's get rid of our config. Okay, so now we have a config that is has no subnets defined under the Kia settings, which is prerequisite for making this work. Uh, let me remove the new XML as well. Okay, so now we run the migrate, and it's going to tell us that it didn't find any Kia subnets. And then it explains, well, if you go into the how-to, It explains how to go into OpenSense and set everything up right. So, anyway, I just wanted to show that part of it. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and straightforward, and it seems to work pretty well. Thank you.